ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we got a little bit of my girl, Deborah Cox, and she's going to be asking where do we go from here. And the reason why you had a little delay there is because it skips past that junk. Okay, but this is Deborah, Deborah Cox. And you know, I was wondering what happened to Deborah Cox. I, I thought that, you know, maybe she wasn't in the industry anymore. And it turns out she actually is. She's actually doing Lifetime movies and a couple other things going on with this young lady. So she's been working. And I'm glad to hear that. Because this woman can sing. I, I, you heard me. I didn't say sing. I said she could sing. Okay. S-A-N-G. Not past tense, but in the tense. You know what I'm saying? Deb, I'm going to pause you for a second while I talk to these people because, you know, they get on my nerves. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am in the midst of cooking. And in the midst of cooking, I got to make sure that I'm able to move around and talk. Uh, there won't be any raise, any voices or anything. So you won't have that squeaking and squatching in the background. Like I said, I just had to make sure that that was moving um, so that you guys can hear me because I got an air fryer going on on one side that's got fish cooking oh yes and while the air fryer is going i have rice on the stove and then i also have uh my vegetable mix with shrimp and imitation crab meat oh no that's not good for you stayed up out of my business now um and while that's cooking and while i am watching everything because i don't burn food people while I am keeping an eye on my food and adding my ingredients to my food, we're going to have a conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you before it even happens that the system is already looking to come after me and my organization. The one thing they're going to come at us for is fraud. Not because we've done any fraud, but that's the only thing that they can bring up to where now you have to defend yourself. Now, we're okay with that. We, we got it taken care of. We, we anticipate their stupidity. Even if they change their script, even if they change their game, we know that they are coming. So that's why we've spent the last two years making sure all the paperwork was done, making sure all the documentation was done. Everything we do, we do electronically, so there is a record. We don't hide anything from anybody. Why? Let me tell you, you can't do what I do and think that they're not going to come and get your attention. Oh, you guys want to know what I do? Oh, well, you see, back in 2018, I took all of the companies, including those institution facilities, and I renegotiated contracts with them redid plea agreements and i added an arbitration clause to my contracts now you may not fully understand the gravity of that but i did so under the eon foundation you know that i introduced everybody to in 2015. well the eon foundation when i did it i did it under the eon foundation so it was a company thing now the eon foundation originally and has continued to be and will always be part of the TTOPP organization. You see that icon that's in the background? That's TTOPP, the Threat Outbreak Preparedness Program. We're gonna be starting that, but we can't start it now because it's a, it's a timing. So when that happens, y'all will know. Okay, but getting back to the starting of the EM Foundation, this was always business, everyone. It was always collecting debt as a business. You see, I showed you in a video of a young man who it was his business to loan money to people. And because it was in the course of his business, he wrote off almost $9 million worth of debt. The IRS says, no, nah, you can't do that. And the court said, oh, yes, he can. So, you know, they're going to tell me, oh, no, you can't do that. And I'm going to be, oh, yes, I can. Because it was done under a business. TTOPP through one of its subsidiaries, the Eon Foundation. Again, all of this was intentional and purposeful. Why? Because it's the business, it's not the person. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here was the idea.
I've been saying it to you, but I haven't been directly saying it to you because some of you, you say something directly to you and you guys, man, you, you hear me breathing, don't you? you you're, you're frustrating with the way some of you think. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say about some of you. Some of your thinking is, is so far twisted and so far backwards. You, you believe in all those theories and those conspiracies and those doctrines and those, you believe in a bunch of junk that you can't prove. You really do need to stop. Because you're going to cause a lot of damage to yourself. I don't care if you think the whole world's against you and if you think everybody's coming after you, if you think that they're tapping your phone and tapping your, your leg and your arm and your neck. Some of you are taking that a little too far. If you can't prove it, shut up until you can. Literally. I mean, honestly, that's the best advice I can give you. So, everything I do, you see I'm all about proving my point, proving that I can do this, proving that I can do that. Sorry, I'm turning fires down because, you know, we don't want to have a forest in here. We don't want to mix no forest with nobody's fires. So, this is what I've been doing. And this is what I've been bringing to people's attention. Some of them have been catching it and others have not. I just told you, but many of you still didn't get it. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's a fork and the rice is getting caught between the blades. Many of you didn't get it and I just said it. I said I started a business. And the business was renegotiating contracts. And by renegotiating the contracts, I included an arbitration clause. And by me including the arbitration clause, we had arbitration hearings for each one of the contracts. You see, there was a third party involved. It wasn't me. I was not part of the arbitration association. The arbitration association found that the other party was in default. Praise the Lord! And because the other party was in default, they didn't even respond. They never showed up at the hearing. They ignored it. Now, you know what happens when you ignore something? Go ahead and ignore that summons. Go, go, go ahead and ignore that ticket and see what happens. So, ladies and gentlemen, good for the goose and that gander better be good too. He better sit on the eggs. Okay? So, if it's good for the geese, it's good for the gander. Ladies and gentlemen. The only thing I did was I allowed the arbitration hearings to go on. And then I allowed them to season, to marinate. Wasn't in a rush to get nothing confirmed. Everybody else, I want to get my arbitration to what confirmed. What the for? What are you trying to get confirmed? Why? There's no need. So I showed everybody how the IRS documents, hey, Y'all, y'all, y'all doing too much. Y'all, y'all ain't got to go to court. Sorry, my uh, air fryer. And plus, I don't want to drain my. Uh, I had to do it now. I should have did this at twelve o'clock. So I don't want to drain my batteries for my uh, solar system because that's the array. That's the backup array. And so it's right where it should be. All right, give me a second because this thing is hot. And I don't want to not focus on what I'm doing because I ain't got time for getting burned. Okay, I leave that to the people who don't know what they're doing. I let them worry about getting burnt. Okay, now if you don't know what an air fryer is, the greatest invention in the world, and I would show you the one I got because I'm kind of proud of it. This is a Kaibo air fryer. Matter of fact, I am going to show it to you guys before we continue our little story as telling you what I did and why I did it and how come some of y'all should have paid attention, but y'all didn't. And thus, shame on y'all. Uh, sorry, got to plug some things back in. Because of how I had to do things, I needed to make sure, because the air fryer is not a low wattage item. That thing is 1,500 watts. And so... I have to be careful of how I spend my watts. Deborah, you're going to excuse us for a moment, all right, young lady? Ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to put right here is Kaivo, K 
K-Y-V-O-L A-I-R F-R-Y-E-R. I just want you to see it because I kind of likes it. I think I got this at Amazon. Is this it right here? This is my Kaivo right here, y'all. And they, they say it's an eight and one, and I believe it. Okay, it is a pretty unique air fryer. It does the job. And when it pulls up, y'all can look at it because I'm going to go back over and walk and talk. As I was saying, by having the arbitrators being independent and doing things separate and distinct from what I was doing, that was my way of protecting myself, protecting the arbitrators, and protecting the process. As I keep telling people, you need the arbitration. Doesn't matter what the court says. Everybody, well, the court said, and the court did, and the court, and, and the court. And, and, and. Why are you worried about the court? Even the IRS lets you know <laughs> going to court ain't necessary. That's overkill. That's only setting yourself up for failure because they are not going to let you walk out of there unless you're willing to take it all the way to the Supreme Court. And none of y'all have been willing to do that not because you don't know the rules. Okay, we are going to the Supreme Court. On behalf of all of our arbitrations that have been done at the organization which I became part of, in 2020. Yeah, see, I had to wait till all my arbitrations were completed so that there couldn't be any impropriety. So we are going to do that for you. But hold on now, as we explain what's been going on, why it's been going on. By doing it through the company and by having a company that it was his main business to renegotiate contracts and then to send those contracts out to everyone. See, I didn't send the contracts out. The company sent them out. It went through United States Postal Service. United States Postal Service, I used them as a process server. Why? Because the postal carrier worker is over 18 years old. They are not a party to the agreement between the parties. And because they documented that they delivered it, that's my proof of service. I don't need to hire a process server. I can use the United States Postal Service as my process server. And there's nothing the courts can say because it's an independent process server. They are a commercial engaging business and they're in the business for serving a process. That's their business. By having the documents delivered, by having the documents verified that they were delivered, I took care of the notification process because it requires notice. So they couldn't claim that they had no knowledge. Some of them responded, but they responded out of time, which means they understood the materials being sent to them. So I don't have any argument. I don't need somebody to come to me and tell me, well, that's bogus and this, that, and that doesn't work. And I don't care what their opinion is. Their opinion has nothing to do with the process. Many of you could have done the same thing. As a matter of fact, you still can. The contracts are on the website. The contracts are templates. They wanted to say that we were doing some type of a conspiracy and setting people up and working out a fraud and defrauding our clients and everything, ladies and gentlemen. Those contracts are separate and distinct documents, and they have no validity and no weight until you add your information and send it to the other party. Other than that, it's just a piece of paper with words on it. So they couldn't come at anybody for no stupid conspiracy. That was all planned. They keep trying to outthink me. Okay, they can't because... Their mindset is stupid. They, they, their logic is stupid, but not here to talk about them. Each one of you can go and help your peoples get redressed. You know people who lost their home five years ago, two years ago, three years ago? Well, we know that they shouldn't have lost their home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the only thing you have to do is the arbitration. The only thing you have to do is send the contract. The only thing you have to do is follow the process. Many of you say, well, I don't know the process. 
we got tons of videos on arbitration. Start with 2017 because we go over step by step by step what you need to do. Now, the catcher was bad debt deductions. Who would have thought it? And we showed you bad debt deductions, how all you have to do is literally write it off. Just that simple. It is a simple process. You just have to write off the bad debt. There is no limits. I've already shown you the law where there are no limits to the amount of debt you get to write off. Now, hold on so that you guys get this. Because it was done as a company, that company is allowed to transfer. Hold on so that you guys get this. Transfer the credits to members of the company. Well, have, you ever, have any of you ever heard of us say SATPAC member? Really, you must understand there's a reason why we refer referring to people as members. That way, there would be no transfer limitations. Now, they'll say, well, you can't do that. Yes, we can. Where's Obama at when you need him? Yes, we can. Because that's exactly what the rules say. See, we're not playing games. We're simply following their rules that they established, that they use every single day, that the banks use every single day. by delivering the credits to other people and having them write it off on their taxes. Many people owe taxes every single year. They work, they don't know that they can write off their wages. I gave you a website where you can go to and it will document how to write off your wages. Oh, I'm sorry, that, that's the air fry I got. Well, look at that, it's cheaper than when I bought it. It was over $100 when I bought it. And I do believe I do have insurance on it, but I've only used it about five times because my solar system prior to this couldn't handle the, uh, dang it, stupid uh, HP trying to download my printer, trying to download its stupid update, and I don't want it to download the update. Ladies and gentlemen, by starting your own company and helping people write off their debt and then taking whatever amount is the end result in an offset by forgiving the debt, doing your 1099A, 1099C, Schedule C, 1040, and you can just do an amended tax filing if it's in the middle of the year. Those of you who owe taxes, when you write off bad debt, whatever taxes you owe gets eaten up. So you no longer owe it. No more levies, no more liens. That's what we were doing. That's what we were showing you. We could have made a business out of doing just that, but we didn't. As stated, two things, so that nobody could ever claim there was a fraud thing going on. We gave everybody a whole lot more than what they gave us because that was the promise. We had to let five years go by because it had to accumulate value. People couldn't understand that. They wanted it now, 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 because they're in this situation and that situation and this situation and that situation. We kept telling them, tax credits are dollar for dollar. Tax credits are dollar for dollar. Kept singing that song, and they simply didn't understand it. So I did videos showing people how you can convert tax credits into currency, and they still are not getting it. But everybody wants to have it now, 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 now. There is no such thing as get rich quick. As you see, I started in 2015. Well, technically, no, 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 let me, let me rewind this. I started in 1992. And I'm not joking. With this whole idea and everything, it was 1992. I just wasn't in a rush. With the arbitrations, that was 2018. I didn't start processing anything until 2021. Okay, because it wasn't a rush. And as long as you guys are operating and you're not in a rush and you're not sitting up there trying to break the bank, y'all will be okay. 
y'all ain't gonna have to worry about nothing. You just have to follow the rules. And while you're waiting for everybody to respond and arbitration hearings to be done, that's when you go over the rules. That's all you got to do is understand the rules. We've already done the videos giving you all kinds of that case stupid junk they call law. Showing you what court opinions are. And that's all you got to do is rely on. When a judge goes contrary to court opinion, then you go after the judge. You get the judge's attention. Look, ladies and gentlemen, what I did in several cases, about 17? Nah, just kidding. What I did in about five different cases, civil and criminal, is I filed the arbitration agreement on the record. The clerk accepted it on behalf of the court. The court never, ever opted out of the agreement. So, waiting for the arbitration hearing. Total of 60 some different parties, 24, well, I think it's 17 different arbitration, uh, but total of 24 altogether, different parties and everything and different, different issues. Ladies and gentlemen, that's enough to have the person set for, woo wee, because come pay attention, February, we're going to start helping those people who are incarcerated with their restitution and fines and child support. Nobody else does this. Oh, by the way, that's fraud. That we're out here trying to help people. So y'all have to excuse us as we continue to try to help people. Because that's what we do. So what I just did in a nutshell is I just told people how somebody started a business. And the business they started was, I don't know why that popped up. Oh, because I moved the mouse when I was walking away. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, showed you how somebody started a business. And their business was based and founded on the Arbitration Act. And all they did was sent out letters. They didn't do anything else other than send out letters. And then they waited. Wasn't in a rush. And after they sent out those letters, they let the Arbitration Association do their thing. Sent out the notices to all the parties and held the arbitration hearing. Arbitration hearing can only be held on one thing, whether or not they're in default. Because we're not asking them to settle a dispute. No. We're asking them to determine in a disposition hearing whether or not the opposing party is in default because that's all that is the issue. There is no need for a one-on-one -on -one hearing for the arbitrator to have people come into the office. The law doesn't require that. The arbitrator just gets to make a decision. Are they... Did they, and that's it. Are they in default? Did they default? Did they respond? That's it. It's the only question. And then the arbitrator doesn't, see at first we had our arbitrators, whatever the contract said, that's what the arbitrator awarded. Well, the courts don't like that. The arbitrator has to be reasonable. So we can't tell the arbitrator what to award. But you don't do a trillion dollars and a quadzillion dollars because, ladies and gentlemen, that's unreasonable. You do it within reason. So those who are incarcerated, $1.6 million a day, you have a federal case. Trazavant versus uh, Tampa Bay, city of Tampa. And that's it. That case right there went all the way to the federal courts. A jury trial held that court and a jury of that man's peers said that $108,000 for 23 minutes was reasonable. Holla if you hear me. That equates to $1.6 million a day. So for those who are incarcerated, hey, they have that right to make such a claim. And that's one of those oops. We didn't make that decision. The courts made that decision. So thank you. Not unreasonable. It's not unreasonable to be... Anyway, so... 
those of you sitting up here trying to make ends meet, but not realizing the two ends are opposite each other, and you're standing on a straight line, unless you're going to curve those ends, then they ain't never going to meet. So what do you do if you can't get the ends to come to you? Well, you go to each end and you introduce yourself. That's what someone did when they sent out the contracts, held the arbitration, and decided to write off all of the debt by forgiving. And then because it was done under a company, the company could give it to its members. And that's what the company did. Real simple. So while all of you are sitting up there trying to scheme and get over on the system, I will say to you what I've always said. Do to them what they are allowing you to do to them. Why? Because if Johnny can do it, so can you. If Johnny can do it, so can you. Hey, you know, somebody told me the, the Marines have this thing, hoorah, right? And I'm just going to mention this before I end this video. Ladies and gentlemen, they're not too bright of individuals. Look, you know where they get it from, right? When Johnny's come marching home again, hoorah, hoorah. When Johnny comes marching home again, hoorah, hoorah. Lord have mercy. And that's their motto, hoorah. What the? Sorry about that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you understand the trip down arbitration lane. Have a very good day.